Yo what's up guys, this is Juno Bilambo from UCMT CBSMT1 and for today's video we are going to troubleshoot a PC and on how to fix devices change CPU or memory or CM CMOS has been cleared. Please refer entering setup to configure your system. Press F1 to run up to run setup or press F2 to load default values and continue. Now this was a problem we had on our disk cold server and we wanted to help a guy fix it and we did manage to fix it and of course he was getting this every time booted up the system and, and he done a bunch of different stuff so I wanted to show you guys what you can do now first you wanna do is remove your battery from your motherboard now if you've got an older, ver an older system this battery may be failing or it may be already dead and it can hold any information on there because of the need to replace it. Now you can get replacement batteries, but it also it could be a setting in the BIOS that you've done. So if I remove in the battery and the power to the computer and then holding the power button for down for 30 seconds, it will remove any information stored on there and then we can go ahead and put it in our in our battery. This will tell us if the battery has reset everything there and it's okay. Normally you can test these batteries as well if you wanted to do that. Also there's a little jump on the motherboard here with a little jumper pin that you can jump across to clear the CMOS as well if you wanted to do that you can use that method. But also removing the battery just does the same sort of thing. So it's entirely up to you which way you go about doing it another thing you can that you can check is the memory sometimes you get an you get a bad memory stick that you can that can cause the same problem because it re, it's related to CPU and memory and stuff like that you want to make sure that you remove one sticker memory and try to power the computer in with just one stick inside there if it works and the memory goes and the problem goes away then you know you've got a DAF stick memory and it does needs to be replaced you're probably best to get a match paired of a set memory and then go ahead and replace those so we need to do here is swap around the memory do one at a time and you can soon find which memory stick is bad and maybe they're both bad so you can check out that so just change the memory around and change the stick around and boot at the PC backup and see whether the PC boots up and then problem goes away. That's the quickest way to test a bad stick in memory and to find out whether one of these is bad. Now you can also check with memtest as a piece of software that you can download for free. You can really need to run a minimum of 4 passes on the memory just to make sure that everything is okay and if you could do seven passes by all means go ahead and do so you can leave it running for a good few hours it will take a bit of time but hopefully you get no errors showing up on the memory now if you do get errors showing up that means that memory is bad and course and, cor and of course you will then need to replace it so that is another thing that you can do to check your memory to make sure it's okay. Another problem that you can have with memory is the actual slot itself. I've seen this a few times where the actual slot on the board goes bad and of, go and of course anytime you plug a stick a memory in it will not work correctly. And the memory is fine but the slot on the board has gone bad. And that made you need to replace the board of some stage. Now if you got 4 slots, you may be able to get around but it obviously if you've got only 2 slots so you got 2 sticks of memory, you won't be able to plug in memory into that. Make sure you receive all the hardware. On that motherboard as well so make sure everything is seated properly take the color off and make sure everything is done right and memory slotted 
right in there and also any sort of graphics card is sitting right in. Make sure I think it's reseated correctly. Yet 24 pins and also your CPU power make sure that's seated right in as well. Now on occasion it could be also be pointed toward your CPU because the message was talking about a CPU and memory so it could be that the CPU is going bad and you would have obviously test that to make sure 100% that this is not a problem. Another thing that causes this is overclocking. When you start overclock that it that is what the problem f was for the person in a disk or server he had issues and he was overclocking so he'd been cl overclocking for quite a few years and of course now he's starting to have problems and and so you can see our BIOS has been reset it's already told us it's been reset so I know it's now back to default settings and if you still having the problem then you may need to upgrade your BIOS you may need to flash the BIOS with the latest version to see whether net rectifies the problem having an old outdated BIOS can cause problems may there's some sort of changes that happened and now it doesn't like that BIOS by so by updating a BIOS here you can see what BIOS version you're running and whether it is an updated version on, web, on their website. You can see this 11.27.2019. So I'm pretty sure there will be a BIOS updated for this one, but that's what you would do. You would go to the manufacturer's website and download the latest BIOS and flash that by. There is also, as I said, there is some time setting inside here like XMP and things like you don't want to be running any sort of advanced settings or any like that because this can cause problems. So remove any sort of XMP's profiles or anything that keep it to default settings. Don't run any overclocks and see if the problem goes away. If it does, then it was a BIOS settings or an updated BIOS that you need to, or some of sort of XMP profile or overclock that you had was causing the problem. Now you may be saying to yourself well it was overclocking okay to three years ago but over time it may be having a bit too much stress on the motherboard or the CPU or the RAM that you've got on the system right and now you may need to go back to full setting and hopefully and hopefully those problems will go away so they are the main keys areas of resolving this problem pretty straightforward and that it does sort of tell you in the description of the message where it says cpu and memory so you know it's pointing to one of those areas which is gonna be causing the problem now the bios is you can get website to go the right drivers i would advise you to download the bios and flash it there and also update all the drivers for the motherboard make sure all the drivers are sold like chipset drivers or the drivers bluetooth drivers every sort of drivers must be installed on there hopefully with all those drivers installed the problem will go away and if it does and if it doesn't then you can start following the whole sequence that what i've showed you in this video anyway that's gonna be about it for this video hopefully this one's been useful to you my name is Junabin Ambo from UCMTC have a great day guys and thank you for watching